I am from the Peña Charra, showing an albarda from Mexican charreria. And the mission is to represent the Mexican culture, any part of the world we are, but with the traditions, arts, and customs that we have from Mexico. My name is Pat Blair. I'm president of Oregon Ladies Aside, and our mission is to preserve the history, culture, and art of riding side saddle. And I'm Delaney Kenny, and I'm vice president of Oregon Ladies Aside. Well, well this morning we were talking about uh, how it feels to ride in different saddles, and we try it. And it's, it's a, we should say that it's the same, but it's not the same. But we start doing something special. Uh, Pat showed us how to take the measure in a saddle. Could you tell us what you did? When, uh, for the Eng English and Western side saddles, we measure the woman's thigh length from her knee to her back. And then we measure the saddle itself from the front of the horn, the upright horn, to the back cantle. And they should be closely matched to have her fit, a good fit for the sight saddle. As, as, as a history in Oregon, as a western side of the U.S., we still share history. That's why we are getting together to try to understand in what point we are in this time doing the same but with different styles. We do many things the same and because of the western saddle is very similar to the chara um, culture and the mexican culture with saddles and riding it's we have a lot of similarities uh, the english side saddle it's very different from western or chara it is historically for jumping and hunting um, and it would have come from europe and has strong roots in Europe and the East Coast. Western also has um, different classes than English, such as trail classes where you must demonstrate your ability to do, your, for your horse to say work on a ranch by opening gates, moving obstacles, going over bridges. Um, that They do have some in English that are similar, but it's very specific to Western for shows that have trail classes. And, and the presentation of the, the Albarda side saddle, it's in a group of eight ladies and all together is a, an escaramuza. Um, the escaramucera, which is the lady that needs uh, using the side saddle, need to do a presentation ahead of time in a croquis. And it has to perform 12 different shapes of flowers. They have points where they have to start the movements of the horse and all of them they need to do it even uh, the horses the ladies need to be dressed up the same way the rules are maybe like 90 pages of rules <laughs> and it's a, it's a challenge to do this outside of mexico because all the equipment it needs to be handmade it has to be it's specialized. We have people to do things with metals, with leather, with the fabrics we use. There's not synthetics that you'll use in each hand that will um, create contact with the horse's mouth in various ways. Um, if you are, if your horse is just starting out and just learning, you would probably just have a snaffle in their mouth, which is very soft and does not have any sort of shank on it, and that's for a beginner. A beginner horse just learning. Um, for Western, a finished horse would have a, a curb bit or any other type of Western shank bit and you ride with a loose rein just like you would um, in any other Western class. Mm -hmm. When we start riding today, I notice that it's pretty warm and we need to be sure they are clean and not as hot as we could burn because we could burn oh, them yeah. inside. But each exactly. time that we use a brake like this on the horse, remember that if we use our hands, we don't want to hurt their mouth. It's like they have literal a piece of metal inside and we need to be really soft. Could you show me the movement about... Ah. About... 
how much you're gonna <laughs> give that you're gonna do it like that <laughs> no no your horse doesn't need to be yanked either way <laughs> only an emergency maybe but your hand in english what we call two-handed or even in western if you have what is called a snaffle bit it's you use both sides of the bit to talk to it's how you talk to the horse it's conversation it's not yelling and yanking it's conversation it's very soft very gentle and your reins will run through your fingers so that you can just squeeze and talk to your horse one side or the other side for english and for western actually side saddle you will ride with both of your toes down instead of the traditional heels down um, that you would in regular stride riding which is very different from the terreria <laughs> <laughs> yeah with the alvarda we put just behind the, the 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 toes that's where we put the foot but um it's facing up and the heel go down heel. and it should be straight like if you're walking it shouldn't be like that it should be straight but obviously with this leg um i thought it was fascinating learning about the the chara um clothing and costuming that they wear and all of the details and layers that go into it um it was it was absolutely an incredible learning experience <laughs> i enjoy seeing you like a real adelita mexican adelita <laughs> Pat, the next time you have to dress as a charro. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> I was amazed. We put in English, we just take a few Velcro things and put them on and we're ready. She needed you to dress her for China. <laughs> and, and your skirt is not a skirt, it's a safety apron. Yes. Well, I learned from that. I mean, you already told me, show me an apron yeah. before, but my brain wasn't connected for the safety but it's a safety apron whenever you jump what i just learned today the way i get out of the horse i just go backwards and i let go of my horse yeah. <laughs> you go face forward yeah <laughs> jump out <laughs> nothing happened to yeah. legs out <laughs> you can do that in your big horse it's a yeah, pretty yeah. tall horse yeah well i i hold on to some mane you never hold on to the saddle hold on to the mane and jump and twist so that I face the horse, but I don't, it's, it's a jump. It's, it's you a lot. <laughs> you get used to it. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the, the charreria have something really special, which is the, 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 the tree, right? Uh -huh. Here, the, the head. That's where they, they hold the animals. They tie them here. Uh -huh. That way you don't get hurt. Yeah. You don't have that there. No. Mm -hmm. Then whenever you jump into the horse and leave the horse, Yep. No hands free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. amazed. Thank yeah. you so much to to join uh, for the video for mm -hmm. Oregon, and hopefully we could still do some more more things together. Uh, we are women, but we are sisters. We are sisters. We are sisters. We are side saddle sisters. <laughs> side saddle <laughs> sisters in Oregon. <laughs> Thank you so much for having Thank us. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, and everybody in the capital, please enjoy this. And pass the balls. <laughs> 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 okay. Listo.